welcome back. I want to go over a couple things in our AutoCAD. In front of you, you have some blocks. So this video is going to show you how to go to something that is called the Design Center that is found on the Windows application of AutoCAD. Right now we have a few blocks that I have created and some that I have pulled in. And I pulled them in from the Design Center. So to retrieve more blocks and see all of the different blocks that come standard with the AutoCAD program, you will go up to your View tab. And once you click on your View tab, you will come over to where it says the Palettes ribbon portion. In the Palettes, there is a cluster of commands and icons found next to where it says Sheet Set Manager. This first row or first column and the very last one at the bottom of the counter, when you hover over it, you will see that it says Design Center. And this is where you will go to retrieve some blocks. Once you go ahead and left click on that, you will come into your block center. Now I'm gonna to go to the beginning. First, it will come up as this. For interior designers, we're gonna use that third file folder, which is en-us. And if I just go ahead and click on that, it will take me to the design center or dynamic blocks. We wanna to go to the design center. Once you're in the design center, it opens up some CAD files and these are your blocks. And there are multiple different files and blocks that you can use that are default with the program. You have the electrical, you have fasteners. For us, we're going to take a look at the home space planners, home designer. There also is some HVAC where you can find your heating and cooling items. You also have kitchen blocks, landscaping, pipes, plants, and welding as well. And then you also have some AutoCAD textiles and line types blocks that you can pull into your drawing as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take the time to click on the Home Space Planner. Once you click on that, it opens up again to something else where you have different things that you can pull in. Remember I mentioned you can pull in different text styles, line types, different layers that are default with the program. To get to those blocks, you will click on where it says Blocks. Once you click here, it opens up to blocks that have been created for you to use. And these are standard drawings. And even on some of them, they give you the actual dimensions of a desk. So it's telling me that this desk is 30 by 60 inches. Your dining set here is a 36 by 72 inch dining table. To get these blocks into your drawing, the only thing you need to do is go ahead and click them. You will get that example that shows up. And if this is what you want, you will select to insert it. Everything is already set for you as a default where the insertion point is going to be on the screen. You can go ahead and specify the scale if you want by clicking it and that means you're going to scale it into the drawing yourself or you can keep it set as it already is one to one. So if this is what you want, you can select OK. If for any time that you want to browse something else, you can click on the browser and you can go in and find another file or another type that may have been saved either from one of your previous drawings or somewhere that you saved and pulled in from the internet. But this is the queen bed that I want to pull in. I'm going to select OK. In doing so, as you can see, it attaches to my mouse here. And then you can just drop it by left clicking it into place. I'll show that again. I'm going to pull in this chair desk. I just double clicked on it with my left click. I'm going to select OK. And then it pulls in that desk chair. When you're all set, 
you can go ahead and close out by clicking your X. And then from there, you have your blocks put into your drawing. Now remember, blocks always come in as a one unit, as one piece. You can always go ahead and move this wherever you want it to be moved to in your drawing at any point. I'm gonna stick that there. I'm gonna put it right here under the king bed. When you want to see the blocks that you have on your drawing space, you will go to where it says insert. And at the insert, you can see here, when you click on insert again, all of the blocks that are that is in your drawing and on your screen. And I'm just scrolling up and down and I see everything that I have here is in my drawing. If you click on where it says recent blocks, you'll get another box that will show you everything that you have recently used, whether it was something that I just pulled in now or something that was already in my drawings. And then it'll also give me what do I have in my current drawings in front of me. And then the last tab is where it says other drawings. Clicking on other drawings allows you to pull in blocks that you have created from drawings that you may have done yesterday or last month whatever you have saved. You will go to the file and you will just search and find that file where you have those blocks saved at. I hope this helps you understand how to pull in more blocks into your drawing and see the default blocks that come with the AutoCAD program by being able to go to that view tab, find your design center, and go through different blocks that may be helpful to you in your drawing at the time. And just taking a little bit of time here, clicking through other blocks. So right now I'm in the kitchen blocks and I see I have a, 36, a two door 36 inch refrigerator and it is showing me that this is the plan view, but it also has an elevation view of this refrigerator as well. So if I wanted to, again, pull that in, there we go. So I have a plan view of it and then also have a, a plan view and then also I have an elevation view as well. And then you can see it gives you the same for this oven range. You have a 30, 30 inch front view, which is your elevation view. And then you also have the 30 inch top view, which is your plan view. When you wanna go out, you just click your back button and then go into any other blocks that you want to take a look at. This is landscaping. So we have a couple different views of trees. We have a plan view. We have some elevation views as well. We even have a plan view of a hot tub and also an outdoor lamp. If you wanna bring in a north arrow to your drawing, there is a block already created for a north arrow. Again, to come out, you can just X out, you can go back to your home to start from the beginning or you can just click that X. And that is all.